shoes, you know? Okay, my skin song, my skin song. All right, my skin guys. My skin guys. My mother, my father, my father, my mother, my father, my mother, my skin is under the My skin is under the My skin is under the I think I'm going children from Samora Michelle um, who came to see the exhibition called Hemel Dekham, which is Afrikaans for heavenly bodies. And it's an exhibition of um, Nick and Tomaso who went traveling um, through the Karoo um, inspired by an Afrikaans science fiction writer um, and found landscapes where they thought these stories would be situated. Um, and they very kindly offered to have the children in the exhibition and to talk about it. I think partly because they were interested in what the children would say and what effect it would have. Um, because that is our approach from the Reggio Emilia inspired approach is that we are interested in what are the children's theories about what they experience and what they see. So the children came and they explored the space um, some of them ran around enjoying the different levels in the gallery. Um, others were very interested to have their photographs taken with the photographs in the exhibition. Um, and Nick and Tommaso walked around with a small group of children who were interested in engaging quite deeply with the images. Um, and then after that, we offered the children um, an opportunity to use some materials to draw 
what they experience of the exhibition. Um, but we also left it open. We also said you can you know, draw whatever you would like to. Um, and we just had materials that spoke to the materials used in the exhibition. So we had um, oxide paints um, reminiscent of the okra you might find in the Karoo. Um, we had reflective paper um, to kind of speak to the, the scar um, mirror that is in the Karoo um, looking up into the sky. Um, and we had paper um, for the children to draw with, draw on um, and that they could express their story. So they encountered the exhibition, they then expressed what they saw, um, they engaged with, with what they saw um, and used the materials to express and then they exchanged by putting up the, the pictures um, underneath some of the images of the exhibition um, and so that they could also have their story represented. It was beautiful to have many kids, many I mean young people and older people to visit the show. It has been very exciting to enjoy the space also indoor and outdoor, people sitting in the streets. It was a beautiful day luckily and uh, actually also our location in make a lot of sense if you are able to to yeah to experience in this way the exhibition because uh, we decided actually to install the project in this old place because there is this uh, connection between indoor and outdoor and uh, yeah our young uh, guests were amazing they were super curious and we we started new thinking also sometimes in some of the of the contents of the project through their uh, curiosity. So I think for us it's been perfect and really exciting. Thanks for coming. Do you know uh, which moment today would be the most, um, you know, that would stand out the most, but it felt like everything happened in the right way. Every, uh, every different activity had a little highlight in itself. And I think for me, what I realized even in answering some of the questions or uh, listening to some of the questions is that the kids are way more uh, in tune and um, aware of uh, like a, of their imagination than some of us adults and so it was for me quite a treat in some way to relive and to see things from a, a child's perspective in a way and I think we must do it more often. <laughs> Um, and I think the setting, uh, having the outside space and the trees and having a space in town that is uh, maybe seen as a bit dangerous in downtown activated for something that is beautiful is uh, really rewarding and um, I thank you for letting us share something together. Mm -hmm.